This is Anne Peroff, Boxing Social, in association with Betfred, and I'm loved joined by Jono Carroll here in Manchester. Jono, it's fight week. Yes. How excited are you for Saturday night? Listen, I love fight week, you know what I mean? This is what it's all about. The hard work is done, so it's just time to sharpen the pills, get ready, and uh, get mentally prepared to go to war. What is fight week like? Because I know you're kind of dreading having to make weight on Friday, but with the exception of that, what are you trying to like, go through as a week progresses towards Saturday night? Nah, listen, I don't mind making weight. All that shit is like... It depends. If you're a professional and you know how to do it, it's fine. But it doesn't bother me. All that making weight, it's just part of the job. It's just like, you know what I mean? So for me, I enjoy whole fight week. I enjoy tapering down the training. I enjoy just walking on the sharp, fast walk. And uh, I'm mentally strong anyway. So for me, it's very easy to kind of get ready for fight week. You know, this is what it's all about. It's the reason why I work so hard for so long in the gym. So now it's just time to soak it all in and exorb it and have fun with it. Talk to me about the Scott Cook fight then. As, you, as your weeks have progressed in camp and from when we did our first interview at the announcement press conference, how has everything gone and how have you been ticking over? No, everything's been great, you know. I was already fit and ready kind of when I was speaking to you the first time. Um, I could have jumped in and done a 12 round fight there and then. But for me now, I just went in the gym and I just learned a lot. Went over the game plan and uh, I had fun. I enjoyed camp this time. And I never enjoyed camp. I usually to be trying to hard to make weight and because was, because the fight got cancelled the first time I was already my weight was down and then I went over to farmer camp so I was walking hard over there. I was training twice a day. Most sparring partners go away and spar and they just go in and spar and that's it, you know what I mean? They might hit the bags after and that I was training twice a day while I was over there. I was always walking so um it, it's been very easy this camp for me. What are we what are you expecting from Scott Quigg on Saturday night then? Are you expecting the version that was a former world champion, you're expecting one that's just a bit less? What are you expecting from him? No, I'm expecting the former world champion, you know, I'm expecting the world champion in there. Uh, for me, he has a lot of experience and you can't underestimate anybody in this game, you know. He has a little bit of pop in them hands as well. So I just have to be careful, I just have to be smart and use my head while I'm in there. And uh, yeah, fight my fight, you know. How are you anticipating it playing out between the self, between the pair of you on Saturday night? Whatever way I wanted to go, simple. Are you expecting Scott just to be aggressive and look to come forward on the front foot? Mate, if he comes forward and just comes comes at me in the front foot, it'll be an easy night's walk. I reckon he'll train and I'll just I'll just destroy him late on. And so for him, I think that's a very dangerous game plan if that's his game plan. I don't know what way he's going to come out, and I don't really care because I'm at the best that I can be. So I'm prepared to to box and prepared to fight and prepared to do it all. To be honest. Who do you think there's more pressure on at this stage of your careers? Well, definitely not me, because there's no pressure on me. And not that I, I really, I take the pressure pretty well anyway. You know what I mean? It's like water over ducks bag. I enjoy pressure almost because it makes me perform better. And half the reason why I took the pharma fight so early on in my career is because I like pressure. I like because I know it brings the best out of me. If you look at me from the framework fight to the pharma fight, I was a different fighter altogether, and that was simply because of pressure. You know, <clears throat> it's like. Water can boil your chicken and you can eat, or it can boil you, you know what I mean? It's like, it's one or the other, so pressure doesn't bother me, but I do think it bothers him a little bit. For him, it's a lot of pressure, because this is a make or break a fight for him. For me, like, shit, if I lose, it's like, it don't matter, I'm back. It's like, ah, oh, well, you got beaten by a former world champion, back there drawing boards, I have to build myself back up and all. He loses, he's finished. So, I'm still in the game, so it doesn't matter, I'm still young, you know, it's really, so there is no pressure on me, I really don't care, this is his hometown, he has to fight in front of his hometown, all that sort of stuff, it's all on him, to be honest, and to be, I, I really don't care about pressure either, you know, it's, I enjoy it, so if he takes it in a good way or a bad way, that's, that's up to him, you know, I don't know his mindset. Just very quickly, you mentioned Tevin Farmer there as well. Obviously, last time that I'd spoke to you was about a week or so after that. He fought Joseph Diaz and unfortunately lost his world title. What was your thoughts on his fight there? Do you know what? I thought he, I thought he left his best baron in the ring. Sometimes he was on fire and sometimes he wasn't. I think when he started making the weight, I think it bothered him a little bit. And maybe just uh, his nutrition wasn't correct or something. I don't know exactly what, but he didn't look the same fighter in Spain as he did in the ring. So, And I was speaking to him after and he said, oh, I just felt like I, I was slow and... I had no spring in my step and I just felt a bit like lazy almost in there. So I just think he left his best sparring maybe in the ring, you know, in the sparring, in the training. I mean, obviously just about two weeks ago now, Tyson Fury defeating Deontay Wilder out in Las Vegas. What was your thoughts on his fight and his performance? Tyson, Tyson's amazing. I love watching Tyson fight. He's funny. He's mad. He's fun. Uh, and I just I just knew he was going to do it. I never underestimated the man. He's just so mentally strong that it's hard to break him. And... Um, all the stuff that he's been through with the depression and getting off drugs and all, that just makes you a stronger man in general. So uh, I knew I knew he was never going to break mentally. So I knew 
Wilder just had to knock him back out to be him. You have to you have to destroy Tyson to be him, or to just give you a boxing lesson all day. And obviously, we've just had the Anthony Joshua fight announced against Kubra Pulev, a mandatory challenger. But what should we expect there? I just expect Joshua to do a number on him, you know what I mean? Joshua seems like he's back to winning ways, he's back to on form, he seems like he's having fun again. So uh, I wish him all the best and I hope he does very well. Well, John, I will leave there now because I know press conference is about to start in the next five minutes or so. So appreciate your time. Thanks for Speed's Boxing Social. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.